up beautiful people it's your girlfriend Stella Bella it's been a while since I've come on this platform I'm so happy to be back from the hiatus creating videos again because I really miss you guys and I hope you guys miss my content as well if you are new I go by friend Stella Bella I live in Japan I teach I make candles and I also make YouTube videos. If you want to see anything about Japan, feel free to follow my videos. I treated myself to a few goodies and I just wanted to come on here to let you guys know like, is it worth the splurge? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the coins? Basically, that's what I want to tell you guys today. The so first up is Jo Malone. I went on a little fragrance shopping spree. But before I did that, I actually went into the stores in Yokohama because yeah, I live in Japan and Yokohama has a very huge department store called Takashimaya. So I went to Takashimaya in Yokohama. You can find Takashimaya in many places in Japan. I went to the one closest to me, which is in Yokohama City and in Yokohama Station. And I did make sure that I tested some Jo Malone fragrances and other items in the store at first before I went online and do a little online shopping spree. You don't want to buy something that you don't like, so make sure you go down to the actual store and test these things before you actually buy them. I became a fan of Jo Malone when I first smelled their candle, the bramble and tomato vine candles, and I was like, this concoction, uh huh, honey. It's just amazing. So I wanted to see what their fragrances was all about. But I know that these companies are like quite expensive. Like not everybody wants to buy Jo Malone like every single day. So I was like, okay, let me see how I can ease myself into getting acquainted with this brand. Like, you know, on a fragrance level. I went to the store and I tested some of these goodies that I actually end up purchasing. I did spend a lot, but it was in the holiday season, so I was able to get some free items. That was a plus. <laughs> these are minis, and they come in a cute little drawstring bag. I got these two mini fragrances for free, and I also got the lime basil and mandarin hand cream. So I did get this as well. So this is one of the free gifts that I got that came in this bag here. Hmm. I also got a little shower gel. It's also lemon, basil, and mandarin. I'm not sure why they gave me like all of this. I kind of feel like um, they were probably trying to get rid of them. I don't know, man. I just realized that the free ones that I got were lime and basil. This is actually a ceramic display tray. You can put it in the bathroom and yeah, this is really cool. I got that as a free gift. I got a small candle, pomegranate newer. So I can't wait to try this. Like I didn't try it because I wanted to show it to you guys on the video. I tried hand creams in the stores and they do not compare to the body cream. So these are the body creams I got. I got the myrrh and tonka beans, which is one of my favorite. And I also got the velvet rose and oud. This is also beautiful. I started using the Velvet Rose and Oud because I feel like it just gives me that really nice fragrance. It makes me smell so good. Like the Oud, something that my mom loves and I love it too. So definitely earthy undertones and things like that is something that I would go for. But I bought them in a small size because like I said, they are expensive and you do not want to buy the regular size ones and you don't like it. So that's one of the things I do when I'm going to buy like very luxurious items. I try to get the sample sizes first. Um, these are travel sizes, 50 milliliters. Yeah, these are 50 milliliters, 1.7 fluid ounces. And um, the body creams are beautiful. Get the body creams, do not get the hand cream because as soon as you put the hand creams on, those things just the smell just disappears like I tried it in the store and I was so shocked so I definitely would suggest getting like a body cream if you are actually trying to purchase a body cream from Jo Malone so that was number one for me the body cream was amazing the body wash is also good um, I did get a lime basil mandarin body wash I actually wanted to try this scent because I wanted to see if it actually resonates with me in any kind of way I did try this body wash and I feel like it's something that I would repurchase but I wouldn't purchase it on a regular because of the cost these things when you buy a lot of them it becomes pricey so I think I would only buy this during like holiday season when they are definitely bound to be having some kind of bargain or sale or giving away some kind of free items 
but yeah I would not buy this on a day-to-day -day basis but it's really good I love the body creams love the body and hand wash gel the last thing guys some fragrances I bought this set this is actually from the men's collection because the I like earthy undertones I like earthy smell woody smell so I went for the men's collection because I realized it's just a lot of fresh fragrances in the women's section so I was like okay let me just try the men's section to see if there's anything earthy or woody kind of undertone that I would actually like so I did pick out this set and yeah these are the travel size ones and my favorite Tonka beans, cypress, and silver birch. Three, only three of them. The Tonka beans, really, really amazing. I would definitely get that in a bigger size. The cypress, definitely get that in a bigger size too. The silver birch, which is actually something that I think is best for summer, I would actually get a bigger bottle of that for summer as well. So those were the three fragrances that I liked. Now, let me tell you something, guys. Like, I'm a fan of Vetiver. I saw this one and it kind of derailed all of my plans. My plan was to get the myrrh and tonka beans in this size. But when I saw Vetiver and it's a fragrance that I've been trying to get for a very long time, I was like, oh my God, I think I need to try this. So I did get Vetiver and oh my God, guys. Ooh, smells good. Vetiver and Golden Vanilla, uh, a good buy. I would not repurchase this one because I really like the myrrh and tonka beans. So next time when I go to Jo Malone, I know exactly what it is that I wanna buy. I'm gonna get the myrrh and tonka beans fragrance in this size, 50 ml, and I'm also gonna get like a body cream. So yeah, so far Jo Malone has me with the myrrh and tonka beans. So yeah, body cream that will help your skin to feel and smell so luxurious. Myrrh and tonka bean fragrances and the silver birch for summer. Yeah, those are the things that I would buy because the silver birch is giving me that summer vibe and I really like that so I would definitely get that for summer. So would I repurchase like all of these on a regular day? Not a chance, not a chance. I would definitely just go straight into the ones that are my favorite and yeah, I would just leave it at that. So if you're trying to get into a luxury kind of brand, luxury fragrances and things like that, I suggest Go to the store, test them first, then you can go online and treat yourself. I treated myself during the holiday season so I was able to get all these free items and I'm really happy with that. So at least I know I should try to get them during the holiday season because that's when you can actually get a great deal, bang for your buck kind of situation. So this is just one of the things that I purchased. Few of the goodies that I purchased that I wanted to talk about, luxury fragrance brand, Jo Malone. And now I'm going to move this away for the next one. I'll make some way. I'm gonna have to make some way for the next items that I wanna talk about. Let's put this out a little bit so that you guys can see. Okay, so Sacred, Sacred Hair Care Line, Queen Bay. I went for Beyonce's Sacred Hair Care Line and let me tell you, I'm really excited about this one. I got the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. I got the moisture sealing lotion, hydrating shampoo. Then I got the hair oil. This is the hair oil. Um, very small, travel size one. This is what it looks like outside of the box. I actually got this one. I think it's really nice. I'll tell you guys more about it. And then, fermented rice and rose protein ritual. This was exactly what I went on the website to purchase. Kind of one of those targeted products that pull you into buying other things. Yes, because I did leave that website with all these things. They do not ship to Japan, so I had my friend accept the package for me and then when I went to Jamaica for my high school reunion, that's when I actually picked them up. I did get all the sacred things that I think I wanted to try. This is the bottle for the fermented rice and rose protein ritual. A very huge bottle, I wasn't expecting it to be so big, but it is, um, yeah definitely huge and this is what you use to mix the rice protein and stuff together you get four of the silk rinse and you get fermented rice and rose protein powder you get four of this and four of that things that I used already <laughs> because I haven't used all of these moisture sealing lotion 10 out of 10 definitely recommend my hair had slim it smelled really good it was like 
I was able to finger detangle with this right here. I was like, mm, I was in heaven. I thought this was one of the best things that I found on the website and I'll definitely repurchase this one. So the clarifying shampoo guys, I tried this, love the bottle, but I do not like the smell of the product itself. Beyonce is not the only one who has this minty smell. I think Taraji P. Henson, she also has a mint condition for hair scalp problems and like I don't like the smell but it feels really cool and it has some little pearls in there like some beads make your scalp just really squeaky clean so if you're into that kind of thing then yeah I suggest you get this I'm not repurchasing this one but I'll definitely get like the moisture sealing lotion and the hydrating shampoo. The hydrating shampoo smells amazing. It has a rose smell. They came out with the conditioner after I had purchased all of these items. So that's a product that I need to actually get. What I've used so far, the hydrating shampoo, the moisture sealing lotion, and the hair oil. Yeah, I haven't even used a lot of it because it's so expensive. I'm not trying to use this like every single day. But it's really good, it smells really good, it has a lot of ingredients in there. This product I have not used as yet, the fermented rice and rose protein. Looking forward to using it though, but um, I'll give you guys an update when I actually use this product so that you guys can see if it actually works. Um, but that's it, that's a wrap for the video. Just showing you guys what I thought was worth it when you're buying luxury brands. Um, for Jo Malone, it's just a few items that I would actually repurchase for sacred hair care line definitely the shampoo the moisture sealing lotion the hair oil and hopefully this fermented thing that i actually went on the site to get so but that's a wrap i'll put all the information down in the description below about the prices the ingredients so if you guys are trying to like get some of these items it will be easy for you to access them and if you guys actually started using these things already and it's working for you i would love to hear what you guys think so put that down in the comment section but that's it for the video. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, stay fabulous.